All right, folks, and my motherfuckers in America, what, what's going down right there? Um, so we've had a little haul at Lidl's. Um, I was walking around, just checking out what tools I got in. Lidl's Powerfix, uh, Powerfix Profi, as I call it now. Um, I picked up some cl some clippers, and I needed a couple of pairs of needle nose pliers. The last pair that I got, I broke the near the near the very front of the one side I broke the one part off of there and I had to grind the other side back and come across so although they do sell needle nose pliers in various different types I was looking at a pair of blue spot ones to replace um, you know that one pair um, but uh, you know that they, they kind of sell needle nose pliers that are about that small and they and they come right in like that, and then you get the ones that are long like this, like a medium side. And then you get the ones that go out to about there. So you've you've kind of got a mixed um, bag when it comes to needle nose pliers. Now these are VPA uh, tested. You zoom in there. That's a Mainly a German standard, I think, VPA. So, how does it say here? They call them telephone telephone pliers. The telephony. For hard to reach areas, high quality polished C45 steel. I'm assuming that's some kind of a high carbon steel. With bi material handles for a comfortable control grip. So. Oh, there goes one of them. Obviously, they were doing. I think they were doing these for about um, one pound something or or another. I can't remember, but there were three, three for a fiver. Um, so beans as I needed two um, needle nose pliers. I want to stick one up in the garage. I thought, well, I'll, there there was some other things. It was like. Um, like the pipe wrench um, kind of thing going on, and um, a few other things, well, and a, a normal combination of pliers amongst there. So you could have, you know, it's it's on at the minute as I speak, so you could kit yourself out there. Um, I just picked up a pair of clippers. As I don't, I don't think I, I've I've got wire clippers, but not like this. They're, they're the smaller, you know, more like. Um, electronics kind of uh, clippers so if you're clipping the legs off a capacitor or a resistor kind of um, kind of thing and the smaller than that but I thought one of these in the garage for help um, cutting the stream line on the on the stream or, or the weed whacker man as you call it in America well also they had a few other bits and bobs um, there were some precision screwdrivers I picked, I picked um, I picked this little precision screwdriver set up um, for my computer or IT maintenance toolkit to add in there. There's some various different bits in there. I've got another one, one of them ones with like the uh, the pencil clip or clip and your lapel as well in there, which is similar, which takes the same size bits. However, it'll have all these standard ones already, but it doesn't have the triangle. Um, don't know if we can zoom in, but I'm old. There's a triangle tip bit, and there's one of those little bits that you, if if you're doing things like work on various laptops and tablets and things like that, um, you can have them. Most manufacturers that use the funny screws to try and stop you from getting getting any getting in there. Well, anybody but them, if you know what I mean, at all. So, and, th and these are the specialist um, kind of bits. On this side, and um, they're all there, so it was worth it. I think this was about two pound fifty, so it was worth it. And the the grip, the um, the handle itself is a lot better than the other um, little um, precision bit screwdriver that I have got. Um, for that probably you can't help, but, um, you know, it's it's worth adding to your tool little toolkit, your IT toolkit, even though you you mainly use one normal Phillips screwdriver. Um, for everything mainly IT there related. Um, so we'll get these open, we'll take a look. Um, 
when we come back. Alright folks, welcome back to the next part. We've got it out the uh, package. And y'all Americans can come away from that rodeo because we've got the next part of the video for y'all. Right, now, we zoom in on this uh, air with the macro on that. Because I'm not sure if we, we just turn it like, can we get us? No, we can't really see. It's hard to see you directly. Does it say Gwim something or other? So we can't really make that out, but because we noticed earlier on the pliers, which we'll get to, obviously the Powerfix logo on there. So we're just trying to see. You know, it's the bit, basically, it's just a smaller version of those uh, bit screwdrivers that are everywhere nowadays. But this is it's, it's a nice, uh, it's got a nice grip. It's better than it's virtually the same kind of thing that I picked up um, before for my IT maintenance kit, but. It's a lot nicer um, of a grip. The bits, obviously, like I said before, are basically the same thing again, but in a, but they're a lot smaller for the precision screwdrivers. However, I've noticed that they always seem to do these in like a a, a polished, plated look, as opposed to where the usual size bits that you can get are like that dull. Um, Gunmetal grey. There you can see the um, the more specialised ones like the triangle tip bit and the um, the one like that, which was I thought was it some Nintendo consoles and things like that. Um, it used to use like a screw like that with the two bits um, either side and all that, and you've got all the special ones. You've got another uh, kind of triangle one there as well. I don't know what it's. TW3, so they got the uh, and the T TA 27, and you've also got your smaller Torx um, type ones as well. So that's that's good. A lot of them aren't wasn't in the other one that I picked up. Um, that's not to say that the other one wasn't a good uh, pickup. It was. It's ideal for th you know for things um, when it comes to um, like I say laptops and things like that. You need some, some companies you'll need real small um, precision screw uh, Phillips screwdrivers and things to get things off so but it's always worth chucking them in even if you only use them on the um, once in a blue moon you know and, and for that for £2.50 you know that for that once in a blue moon then that's worth you know it's worth paying £2.50 to use it once in a blue moon um, so ergonomic non slip drip precision screwdriver so that's, that's basically um, that's basically it really it's, uh, yeah, it just says it was what it said on there was OWIM GmbH. So, and it just describes in the various different languages what bits and everything you got there. So, that's uh, I'm pretty pleased with that to add to the IT toolbox collection. Um, obviously, I didn't need to open both of these because they're exactly the same, just with one for the workshop and one for the garage. Um, I thought. You know, one pound. I'd, I'd I'll give them a go and have a look in the um, inside the jaws and the cutters there. So I'm assuming it's a this C45 steel is a high carbon steel, which is a comparative um, tall steel to like chrome vanadium and things like that. You know, or an alternative. Now, one thing I did notice, which was interesting, I don't know if I can. Um, Gonna get in any any more Very macro in on that. See, it says Meister or Meister. If you talk um, Achtungsteiner language, you'll uh, know that more. You know how it's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, so that's Meister Work Zuj. So. Uh, they, um, I've noticed, made the, which I haven't got around to uh, doing a review of yet, the Aldi um, spanner combination spanners, which actually meet the um, all the, the specifications, um, the, the British standards and all that, the DIN um, specifications. They were pretty good for the price, but I haven't got around to 
reviewing those yet they'll probably be pop up um, over the next few days or weeks um, so that's a moister on there now obviously I suspect the range of, of the pliery tools that they were selling in that same uh, bundle deal if you wanted to buy a bundle um, were all made by Meister we just had the Powerfix name on there so I'm expecting this to be exactly the same yep Meister work Azuge so again that's made by Meister I'll notice there's an M on there which probably does stand for um, Meister you can see that there the M on there I'm assuming that stands for Meister whatever you know I can't really imagine it standing for anything else There we go. So you see, I do like this camera because it does have a nice macro zoom, and you can. It does well. The focus is macro, and it when you zoom in, it really does give a good clear indication of little things like um, you know the detail and things like that, and things such as tools and circuit boards and things like that. Um, and it also does have a little light which you can turn on and off, which gives um you know a better indication for when you're reviewing things like this so you can so it can illuminate uh, the actual um section of what you're trying to show and it can obviously with the way digital cameras work they like light so they like lots of light so um you can turn that on and off like I just showed so if you can get a better view of something with it on or off so it's an, it's still a nice uh, camera to use for this kind of thing it actually only uses five uh, megapixels, but the the quality of the actual image is um, is good, and it's in HD. So um, you know, I think the image quality might be better than my 4K, 4K action camera. Or, um, you know, but then again, you don't know how many pixels that's actually using. So I'd assume it's better than five by now. But this is still actually a really good camera for this kind of work. Um, to say it, there's no need to open it's exactly the same as that one so that's a good little cheap little uh, Lidl's Powerfix um, tool haul just to have a look at these are in now obviously beginning of November um, they have got the Parkside lie ion drill and I was thinking about picking that up and having a look at that because I do have a few drills and a couple of the drills where I had the um, cordless uh, drills were the old NIMH, um, you know, the big packs. I think that, I don't think they were still using uh, nickel cadmium. Um, all the drill manufacturers, I don't think they were using that technology. I think they'd obviously moved on. Surely they'd moved on to um, NIMH before they moved on to Lion. Um, but you know, like I said, I bought, bought that. Um, Little, um, no, no, the Aldi work zone drill. Sorry that we reviewed before. Um, this Parkside one from um, Little um, did have um, a hammer action on there, and it did also have the clip. What we wasn't what wasn't a big deal for the for a bit holder that comes with it, but it came in a nice plastic case. However, the pricing was around. Thirty nine ninety nine, so forty pound just to buy, you know, um, for a mid, you know, for a like a consumer cause drill. I could pick up um, a new Makita without the battery um, for around that, um, you know. And there's a few other Makita tall cordless tools that use the same battery um, that I could do with purchasing down the road anyway. So I'd probably be better off. Um, purchasing one of those and reviewing one of those a bit later on um, but I do use you know I'm not a builder or anything like that but I do use drills power drills a lot um, so you know it would have made no no difference to me to buy another one and put that put that aside because I do I do have to use them for like starting RC engines and things things like that as well as um, DIY work and I do also use with a quarter inch um, bit socket bit adapter 
Um, I use them a lot on, when I'm working on my motorcycles as well to take um, bolts in and out um, quicker um, and get a job done a lot faster. And also, obviously, with the screwdriver bits as well, and things like the panels, side panels, and things like that. Um, so, I do tend to use them a lot. So, I've got n nothing against buying another drill to you know to put on the side or to have one in the garage um you know because they do get a lot of use i just you know I'll, I'll pick a drill up every couple of years um you know and then just won't touch it again for a couple of years until either it goes out of date and i buy a new one anyway or um you know saying that i've got still a lot of older power drills as well in the shed that can um i can i do have the means to try uh, to change them to running on live lithium polymer so um you know i thought i thought i'd uh, pick up some uh, some of their pliers and uh we'd take a look at those and see how just how good they are so i did need a pair anyway um you know high, it's not chrome vanadium or anything they're not nipex or um you know like um, the nipex stuff that draper um is in association with and puts out or anything like that but um, for home use which they will be like in the garage and um, in the workshop as quick pair of quick grab uh, sets I'm sure they'll be fine for a good few years I mean I've had a pair of Taiwan uh, combination spanners in my good uh, tall toolbox I you worked in engineering and they they're still all right up to this day there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with them so I think we've Things like pliers, you can actually get away with a lot of it now. I wouldn't um, slam these shut because obviously you'll blunt the blades. Uh, but they, the action seems okay. They seem alright to me for the price. Get some use out of them. Cutting um, mainly with these, probably mainly be cutting um, strimmer weed whacker line when you get it in, you know, and you need that trim that bit off the end. So, um, seem alright. It seems as I do uh, a few tour reviews, I thought I'd uh, review this, uh, these little bits and bobs. And this one will be great to go in my IT toolbox. We do in, um, I'll take a look at putting together an IT maintenance toolbox at some point in the future as well. That will probably go up on one of my other channels, but I will manage to link it um, to this channel as well, beans as it is... Um, a tool um, review so it'll show up on this channel as well um, a little bit down the road okay 